Hey everybody, we're back. We have a special guest today, Mike Elmore. Woo! And uh, we just came straight out of the rainy ass theater. Um, from well, the theater wasn't rainy ass, but we just saw Independence Day Resurgence. <laughs> and uh, this is the no spoiler video. Okay, there's no spoilers in this. You should be completely safe. If we accidentally slip up and say something spoiler, I'll cut it right out of this motherfucker. So you're free to check this thing out. Yes, I said motherfucker. This is not a kids channel. Sorry, people. Um, <laughs> anyways, just real quick before we jump into the movie, I just I didn't want to tell just a brief little story. We had a little bit of a ticket debacle. I kind of was worried about this. I booked my tickets like way in advance when they had just the one screening open and then my screening disappeared when they put up the rest of the screenings and it was all weird. Um, I checked with the theater managers a couple of days ago when we were here and they assured me that screening that I had bought tickets for was happening and my tickets were in there and everything and they weren't wrong but it turns out today somehow that screening got turned into a double feature and they had sold my seats to someone else as well. <laughs> you know so we didn't get to see it in 3D. Luckily they were all super cool about it. They gave me a crap ton of like free passes to make up for it and everything and we saw it in 2d I had to sit a little off to the side so when boo me but luckily dad really wants to see it and I'll go back and see this again in 3d um, but anyways I just wanted to get that story out so um, anyway uh, but I'll give you my thoughts uh, real quick is uh, I really loved it I thought it, it, it very much felt like because I, I forgot this until I was sitting in the theater watching but I saw the original Independence Day on July 4th it's opening day back in the theater I got that same kind of vibe like I mean it was just that same thrill ride that same excitement that same just awe and spectacle and they really did some new stuff with the destruction that we've not seen and I thought there were some cool twists and turns that they've kept out of the trailers and everything too a few little surprises here and there uh, Mary Over um, <laughs> or Mike whoever wants to go first this is our first I don't want to break tradition <laughs> uh, uh, no it was uh, I, I, I like we got a little more in depth with uh, the, the aliens and such because before you know you've just got a, the, the the faceless menace more or less yeah and now you get to see a whole lot more yeah they do a lot more with the aliens and the technology and all that stuff they really expand the story and without saying anything i'm ready for part three yeah mm -hmm. mike what do you think man yeah i i really enjoyed the back half of it i could have done without the first like half hour I mean, that, that's kind of fair. I mean, you kind of need the setup. You kind of need to know where things have changed. If anything, I kind of felt like I almost would have liked uh, some kind of mini series, or maybe they did a comic book lead up to tell um, you a little bit the more. The website had like a timeline. Okay, that, yeah. like that, that's a start. Because um, yeah. I, I would find it fascinating all the stuff that has changed in the 20 years. Because we'll get into it in spoilers, but there mm -hmm. are a couple of character things they just didn't even mention. <laughs> Where like I rewatched the first one the other day. There's a couple of characters that you know kind of ended up with each other, and mm -hmm. yeah, it they're was nowhere a, to be seen. <laughs> yeah. I can think it. I already tell you what happened to one of them, but <laughs> all yeah. right. The, you know, the character is the new characters is why I can kind of do without the first 30 minutes. It's there were some characters that they presented it as if I should already know all of their backstory, and I didn't feel like I got that kind of connection with them. Well, I can see that, but also too, in all fairness, even for the first one for me, I was never really emotionally connected to any of the characters. They, I, I don't think Roland Emmerich or those guys, they do really great characters. With with some of the, like, it's, it's really the minor characters that you care more about than the major characters. The major characters are just kind of stereotype cardboard cutout. Mm -hmm. You know, like, he, you need this hero guy, you need yeah. this science guy, you need this guy mm -hmm. to tell the story. Let's see, I, I felt I connected with the characters in the first movie, you know, I guess because it, it felt more real. I, I can understand that. It was a little more our world. Things yeah. hadn't changed the way they had changed for yeah, this world. It, this felt slightly disconnected. Mm -hmm. I, I can see that. Bit. I can see that. Because again, it is a very different Earth than yeah. we're used to because they've had a different 20 years yeah. than we have experienced. Right. But they did play that it has been 20 years later mm -hmm. and things have evolved and changed and you know, I mean, they even say it in like the trailers, like, you know, we've been preparing for 20 years right. for this, so. But there are some nice little twists and turns, some things they have not told you about. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because um, that was my worry with a lot of their trailers was, did I just see the whole movie? <laughs> you know, right. watching the different types of trailers. And there yeah. was a lot in that movie that was did not make it into a trailer. Yeah, absolutely. And one of the things I thought was really cool about it <laughs> is you got Independence Day out of this movie. You absolutely got Independence Day. But you also got some alien. You also got some aliens. Mm -hmm. You also got some Starship Troopers. You yeah. got a little bit of Star Trek. You got a little mm -hmm. bit of Star Wars. So it's like they kind of, you know... Without it being overt and too obvious, they really they brought a little bit of all the great sci-fi into this just awesome, mindless yeah. summer blockbuster action piece. Because <laughs> it's not a thinker, you know, it's not a thinking movie, really. No, I mean, it, it, I'm not calling it dumb. It's it, just it is very much a 
sit back, eat your popcorn, and enjoy the ride. Right. Don't think about the science. Yeah. 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 yeah no. no. <laughs> if you if you have any kind of background in physics, mm. throw all of that out of your mind while mm -hmm. watching this. Yeah. Yeah. But they did really up the ante on the destruction. <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. And I'm not gonna say it here, but there's a White House thing. <laughs> and I thought that was actually really kind of clever. <laughs> so we'll talk about that in spoilers. But um, but yeah, I mean, look, overall, really liked it. I really liked what the progression with the characters. Uh, I liked some of the new characters they brought in. Mm -hmm. Some, some I'm like, mm, okay. And uh, without spoiling much about it, the kid, you know, you've seen in the trailers that you know Will Smith is not in this, and right. you know he has a son character. I'm pausing a little bit just for those of you who are super averse to spoilers, um, in case you hadn't seen those trailers. But the thing with the trailers I was worried about is that kid had like no charisma. Yeah. Well, he's not Will Smith by any means, but he has a little yeah. bit more in the movie than they presented in the trailer yeah. so so you know you, you can kind of get behind them a bit more and like them and stuff so mm -hmm. uh, but yeah I mean overall they did a pretty good job it's it's really a lot of the returning characters that really like yeah. Mike kind of was saying though that mm -hmm. you really care the most about and we'll go real in depth in that here yeah. shortly mm -hmm. but uh but yeah, I mean, overall, really enjoyed it. It's like a two and a half hour movie, and it flew by. It yeah, really was, flew by. I was starting to worry about deep vein thrombosis there for a while. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the chairs, the chairs, you know, they're reclined. They're very, very comfortable to a point. And at a certain point, it's like you kind of wish you could adjust them, the legs in the back individually. But, yeah. you know, what are you going to do? I, I give them props for at least doing what they're doing now. So at least we're a step closer. Um, but yeah, yeah, yeah. So overall, I think it's, it's a great sequel. It's a great direct sequel. Uh, it works. They played it well. Great designs, great effects. Mm -hmm. They did new things. It wasn't too much of a rehash. Mm -hmm. I really dug and it. Like you, I can't wait for the next one. Yeah. <laughs> Don't yeah. wait 20 years for this one. Yeah, no, no, no. no. Three. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, it's like, God, I, mean, I don't need Jeff Goldblum on a walker <laughs> by part three, you know? <laughs> or a hover walker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be what it would be. He's in the Professor X hover chair or some shit. <laughs> no, that's his dumb, his dad. Yeah. Right, there you go, there you go. Yeah, <laughs> oh, his dad. Um, but, uh, anyways, but uh, yeah, so guys, uh, Again, this is the no spoiler video, so please no spoilers in the comments. But you can tell me if you saw it, if you agree with us, you know, or whatever you disagree. But save your uh, comments for the spoiler video if you want to get specific. And there would have been something at the beginning to pop up on, or there's a link down in the description. Other than that, uh, thumbs up of encouragement. Encourage us to keep doing these fun things we are going to do anyways, but we like to be encouraged to do them. And uh, subscribe if you're new here, because it's always fun to get new subscribers. And share with your friends, because if you're cool, they're cool, and we want all your friends together at the same time. And uh, like I said, I'm not going to push this too much, but since it's new, I guess I do need to put the word out there a little bit I have started a patreon thing it's like it's 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 a buck so I mean you know you want to check that out click the link help me get more stuff you'll get a lot more stuff for it uh, so if you love these videos and you want more that's a way you can get some exclusive stuff and you can be like I'm cooler than your cool friends but then maybe the uh, you know you know how it works that's too much salesmanship anyway so I'm gonna shut up we're gonna get out of here we're gonna do our spoiler video and we will see you guys later